Hey Pisces, Mariah here. I'm going to go ahead and get into your reading for the month of July 2021. I just want to say first and foremost, thank you so much for sticking it out with me. I know it's been a little while since I last got out your last video. I will say going out through the month of July, but especially into August, you'll be getting a lot more content. I made some arrangements on my end, so that way I can produce more videos for you guys than I have been, all right? So... Oops, wasn't even ready. <laughs> Spirit guides, angels, ancestors, what do my Pisces need to know in the month of July 2021? Right? What are the most important messages that my Pisces need to know? Thank you. Interesting. We have a contradictory statement here. <laughs> we have nothing will come of this situation along with prosperity lies ahead. Interesting. So, Pisces, this is letting me know, automatically, actually, let's go to Witch's Tarot. This is letting me know that whatever you're trying to do that hasn't been working out, say, whether it's relationship, career field, job, just something that this feels like you're just pushing a boulder up a hill and it's not gaining any momentum. It's not going anywhere, right? Because it's, it's difficult to push a boulder up a hill. And it feels like whatever the situation is for you that just lacked progression, it just didn't evolve, it hasn't transformed, you know, it could have even stayed stagnant or plateaued, you know, nothing has developed or changed from it. It's just letting you know, well, spirits are letting you know that nothing's coming from the situation, right? However, prosperity lies ahead. So there is something that's happening for you in the month of July 2021 that you're really going to love. That is something that not only will bring you an increase in finances, but this feels like what you're wanting, whether it's on the love aspect, personal aspect, is going to have growth, awakening. How beautiful. And incubation, yep. Bottom of the card or deck is death. So Pisces, you're definitely needing to leave something behind right go with the flow that's what you do best out of all the signs you are the sign of the fishes right please go with the flow of whatever this is because there is an awakening happening or through this process of having to realize that you know what this is just not going to work for me I've, I've been trying to make this work i've been putting my all in i've been giving my effort and it's just not happening for me in the way that i want go with the flow of that right they say oh, excuse me they say um divine rejection is protection right and some doors that won't open aren't meant to be open for you because there's another door coming that's meant for you there's a sense of me needing to tell you pisces and i've been getting urged the past couple of days to do your reading so i don't know what this is about but there's a sense here that i need to tell you stop trying to knock or bang down a door that's not opening up right sometimes we have to understand even as bad as we may want whatever's on the other side of that door, the next door that's coming can bring us so much more than what we thought. Um, there's a meme that's online, and it's and I'm not religious at all, but it, I mean the meme was in like a religious context, and it was of like God. He had this big old teddy bear behind his back, and the little girl had a smaller teddy bear, and God was like, "Hey, give me your teddy bear." I got something better for you. And she didn't want to give up the bear because she thought that this was the best thing for her. She wanted that, but little did she know there was something so much greater, so much greater literally around this corner. But all she could see was the small bear. You can't fathom or imagine something you haven't experienced or seen yet, right? So how is it, how are you able to believe that what's coming is best for you if you've never experienced it, right? That's the fear aspect. There's the, and this is why I'm saying it, because again, I'm not religious by any means, okay? Don't bring that to me. I'm very spiritual, but there's an element of me needing to reference that to you, Pisces, because what you can't see, yes, the unknown is, is frightening. Yes, you're unsure of the unknown because what if it doesn't pan out in the way that you expected it to? But the beauty here, Pisces, is that what's coming for you, what spirit already has aligned and preordained for you, it's much greater than what you're trying to obtain and what you're, the door you're trying to knock down and bang on. There's a need for you to go with the flow. It's already been cooking up for you in incubation, right? Incubation talks about 
best reference is when a woman is pregnant, the baby is in the womb for nine months, developing and growth and growing. Um, and that's what spirit has been doing for you. Spirit has been cooking up, let's just use the term cooking up, <laughs> your true desires, your true fulfillment, your truly what you want. If that is the love of a lifetime, if that is this new business that starts off and just takes up and running and it's successful, if that's better health, better mental stability, shit, even, you know, let me just have enough food in my fridge just to get through the week. I mean, damn, you know, sometimes it can just be as simple as that, but it's, it's been cooking up for you, Pisces. There's a need for you to understand that through this void of not being able to gain what you want, what you've been working on, or what you've been trying to work towards, or that connection you've really been wanting to work, the fact that it's not working out, there's a sense here that you need to awaken to that, that you know what, this just not, this isn't it for me. I have to let it go. So, not to get off preachy on you, but I just had to go there for a second. So let's get into the spread. Spirit guides, angels, and sisters, what do my Pisces need to know? One card at a time for my Pisces. What do they need to know for the month of July 2021? Three of Earth in the upright. What else do my Pisces need to know? Ten of Fire, upright. Actually, let me scoot these over a little bit. What else does my Pisces need to know? Queen of Earth. God damn it, Pisces. <laughs> Holy crap. We got the queen of earth, the empress in the world. What did I just tell you about in my little pre, uh, pre-speech, pre if you will? What did I just tell you about? Let one door close so this one can open up. I mean, Pisces in the month of July. Wow. I'm not going to lie to you. On the bottom of the deck, we do have the strength card, right? I'm not going to lie to you, Pisces. You literally have the baddest queens, even if you are a male Pisces. I don't care. Male, female. Hey, take it how you take it. You have literally the baddest queens in your spread, all in the upright, by the way. Queen of Earth, Queen of Fire, and the Empress. Now, you can be a King of Earth, King of Fire, and the Emperor, right? Again, genders don't exist. Um, tower in reverse, capping it off. Bottom of the deck, like I mentioned, is strength. And then right underneath that is the nine of wands. I, I love your energy, Pisces, for the month of July. I do. I absolutely do, because this is literally what I've been talking about, right? Ten of fire, the burden, the, how can I put this? It's the burden, but it's also you, Pisces, trying to persevere, trying to endure something that's just been causing stress. It's been causing burdens. It's been causing grief or whatever it may feel like to you. It's just something that, again, you've been pushing or rock uphill endlessly, tirelessly, being devoted to pushing this rock up this damn hill. And again, this could be in regards to relationship trying to make a relationship work or feeling like you're the only one putting in the effort in a relationship or feeling like you're carrying the relationship on your back, right? Or you're the only one that's active in a relationship. Where the hell is your partner, right? What are they doing, right? You're doing all the work. This can be in regards to a business. This can be in regards to an endeavor, whatever it is for you, Pisces, because this is general. You've been carrying this burden on your back and you're still, because the Ten of Wands is upright, so it's not in reverse and you haven't released it. Right? Some of you may have, because again, it's tarot. Some of you are all, we're all on different timelines, right? So this may be past tense. This may be present tense. This could be future tense for each and every one of you. But this is the sense of still carrying it on your back, despite knowing how stressful and how hard and how heavy this damn boulder is. And you're still, I can get to the top. We can, we, I can make this work. I, I know we can make this work. Or, you know, I do want this relationship, even if you're not, Physically putting in the work, even just energetically still being tied to something. It's still going to make you feel like the Ten of Wands, like you're carrying it all on your back. Even if you're still energetically tied, if we put this in a relation, uh, relationship context, and it's just been stressful and burdensome, say even if it's a no contact, you're still energetically linked and that energy still feels heavy on you, right? If this is a career or an opportunity 
It's just something that you're wanting to bust down these doors and the doors aren't coming down for you in this area. Pisces, when do you release it, right? The beautiful news here is this tower that came out because this tower kickstarts all of this off for you in July, this tower in reverse, because this tower in reverse lets me know through this awakening, right? Because at some point, you're going to realize with the three of earth here, you're putting in all the effort. You're putting in all the work. You're the one getting your hands dirty. You're the one carrying this energetic burden, even if you're not doing anything in the physical sense towards whatever you're wanting, even if it's just energetically feeling this, energetically feeling this strife, right? Energetically feeling this struggle. You realize in the month of July, if you haven't realized already, Pisces, you realize I'm putting in all the damn work. I'm getting my hands dirty. I'm getting my feet muddy. My back hurt. My knees hurt. You know, I'm too old to be feeling like this now. And I'm still, you know, feeling this way. Why am I carrying all of this burden? And for what? Right? And for some of you, it's been too long, too long of a time coming of you carrying this. Some of you have been carrying this burden for months, even years. You know, depending on, again, each Pisces in your timeline. Tower in reverse, though. You go through this awakening, you start to realize, why am I doing this? I have to release this, I have to let it go. This is a disaster waiting to happen because what happens when I get to a certain point of carrying this and my back breaks? Now that big ass boulder is rolling its ass back down to me and now me and the boulder going down the hill. <laughs> you know what I mean? And it's just, you don't want that. You don't wanna deal with that. You don't wanna have not only a back broken back, but now you got a broken spine and broken arm and now your neck fucked up. You don't want to deal with that. You don't. So through this awakening, Pisces, you realize, you know what? At some point, I just have to let this go. I have to release this. But the beautiful part, Pisces, because we have prosperity lies ahead. Queen of Earth, Empress, the world, and the Queen of Fire. You absolutely come into a new cycle here through this awakening, through realizing, you know what? Even though this is the door I wanna enter through, even though this is the relationship I would love to have, I wish it could work, even though this is the job I wish I could have or I wish it could work, or you know, say if this was the opportunity that I thought was for me, but it's just not working out, you go through this cycle. We got two cards of awakening, the awakening card and the world, right? New transition, you go through a new cycle. End one and start anew. But in this new cycle that you enter, to, enter into through the month of July, Pisces, this is the energy of you realizing not only, and again, you're male or female, doesn't matter. I'm just going to use the terms on the card, but you can be an emperor, empress, whatever. But I'm the empress. I don't need to deal with this shit. Whatever I want, I can manifest. And if it doesn't manifest, I know that spirit protecting me from really what's on the other side of that door. Because I can only see the front face of that door, but I can't really see what's on the other side. And if we apply this to relationships, yeah, this may be somebody that you truly want, but you get back into it, now you're going through the same BS again, or now new BS comes up, right? But you can't see all that because you're on the side of the door, but spirit sees it. Oh, spirit sees it all. Spirit knows what the outcome of that situation will be. And if that door didn't open for you, Pisces, it was because it was not meant to open for you. And don't doubt that and don't deny that. See, with the Empress here, that's the realization here for you, Pisces, to be like, you know what? At the end of the day, I'm still the, the manifester of my own life and what I want. Cool, that didn't work out. Let me go elsewhere. Let me create a whole new kingdom or queendom. Let me go ahead and reprint, uh, and, excuse me, uh, replant my fruits. Replant my roots. Resoil my, my grounds. Start anew if you have to. Start over if you have to. But the fact that, you, that you're the empress, when you start over, you're still guaranteed to succeed at it. And the reason why? Because you're being spiritually led to do so. Because the door you wanted wasn't opening. If that door wasn't opening, okay, it wasn't for me. Let me go and plant my new, my new seeds. Um put down my new roots, scorch the earth, start all over. That's fine. I can do it. Strength on the, on the bottom. You got the courage and the bravery and the boldness to do so. Right? Queen of earth and the queen of fire. 
Not only in the month of July are you attractive, you're sexy, you're on fire, you're desired, even if you may not feel like it now because we're in the end of June. But trust me, once you start getting into this Empress energy and realizing, you know, I got to let this go, you realize whatever is meant for you will come to you, the world. Whatever is meant to be in your life will be in your life. And not only that, if you want something to be in your life, say it couldn't be with that specific person. Well, guess what? What you looking like? The Queen of Wands, the Queen of Earth, and the Empress. Something so much better is popping up for you. Somebody who's going to truly see your worth, see your value, honor you, admire you, appreciate you, cherish you, love you, be devoted to you, be committed to you, be loyal to you, love you endlessly and tirelessly, right? That's what you have coming in. If this is in regards to a project, a career opportunity, starting your own endeavor, this is being in that sense of, okay, that door didn't open up, that didn't work for me. But you know what? I have all the tools available because the Empress, one thing people don't talk about, because of how abundant she is, she can manifest out of nowhere, just like the magician. Her tools are a little bit different. Her tools are a little bit sensual versus the magician where his is more rugged, if you will. But she has all the tools she needs. She knows how to use her resources that she was godly given through spirit and the divine. Yeah, not trying to go religious, but again, I don't know why I'm just getting these weird ass terms, right, to go there. But she was given these abilities to really manifest in such a divine, sensual, seductive way that the magician couldn't even touch her on his fucking best day. And that's a fact. I will tell you that. The magician could not touch the empress on his best day. And that's a fact, given the gifts that she was given. Now, again, you can be an emperor, empress, however you see it. This is you being, okay, that door won't open. I'll go ahead and create something new. And I'll make it even better. Even if I have to do it a different way. Because that's just what this is gearing you towards. Because if one way wasn't working, do it a different way. The world, right? Start something new. Start a new cycle. Do it a different way. And you would build piece by piece by piece if you have to. Because guess what? With the queen of earth, you're very resourceful. You're reliable. You're due diligent. But yet you have the tenacity to stick it out and really build it up to where you want it to be. There's so much passion behind this for you Pisces, whether this is in a business, whether this is in a love connection, whether this is in any other aspect of your life, you are going to create this in the month of July. And I am just so happy for you because again, prosperity lies ahead, right? You need to close that door and realize it needs to be closed and realize it needs to be closed Pisces. But when you start to create a new door, especially with the divine at your toe, you are going to be so untouchable. And I can even guarantee you this, especially for some of you Pisces. Again, I can't say all because it's a general reading, right? But for some of you Pisces, when you enter in this energy, this is going to be an energy you carry out all the way out through 2021, going into 2022. When you step in, because this is bad bitch energy, I'm sorry, or bad guy energy. Again, you could be a male or female. And excuse my language. But this is such a dominant, powerful, forceful, but strong in the most spiritually guided way. You're an unshakable force. So whatever that door was for you that just would not budge, that relationship that just could not get on the right page or on the right track, that career opportunity or that business that just was not flourishing in the right way, it's time for you to now close that door and say, all right, I bid you farewell. But now let's start anew elsewhere. And that's when spirit comes in and say, all right, boys, let's get our tools. Let's get what we need. Let's start building this door, this new door for Pisces. So that way Pisces can go through it. And this time Pisces is going to reap the rewards of everything Pisces had to carry with this damn ten of wands. And then some. Right? Wow. This is a very powerful month for you in July. Pisces, we are going to take this into an extended because I want to do two separate spreads for you. I want to look into if this is in regards to a love connection, what type of love opportunity is coming in for you in the month of July. Also, too, for you guys who want to know about, you know, if you're starting a business or career opportunities, we're going to take a look into that and see how that transpose. So mind you, the extended is going to be a lengthy one, but it's always worth it 
It's always worth it. So if you want to catch the extended, it is in the description box below. Check it out. You will get your money's worth. Um, but we're going to go into deep detail because I want to see in the month of July how this extremely positive energy, this beautiful tonight, uh, tenacious energy, how this unfolds for you in the month of July of 2021. Pisces, if I leave you here, it has been such an honor and such a pleasure to be around your energy and just to be in your space, even if it's only for a moment. Thank you so much. Bye.